And now we want to hook up a, a random man output here. So I'm just going to take random man, this one, and we go at random man, render settings, and use the ROP node here. We want to render this into, for example, HD. Uh, so 1920 by 1080. You see here, it's saying camera, camera one, but I rename my camera to render cam. So I need to drag this one into here instead. So it's using the render cam when I render. I'm going to take my resolution to 1920. 1920 by 1080. That's a HD. It's gonna render to essentially where we have saved our Houdini file in our case here. And it's gonna render to a folder called render. And it's gonna take the name here. I don't like the hip name. I'm gonna take this one away and just and say essentially dollar $OS. And that's gonna be essentially the name here of this node here. Snail TT, for example. So the OS dollar OS is looking essentially of name of the node and making that the uh, this name is going to be the name for my render and it's going to then bolt on the number here and EXR. We can go into rendering here and set the number of samples. Let's say um, max samples 256 or 512. Yeah, so the pixel variance and max samples is essentially a relationship where if, if you set this one lower than uh, the actual number of samples, if it reaches 256 samples here in this case, it will just not render anymore and it will be okay. You might get a noisy image depending on what you set the pixel variance and the max samples to. So if you lower this one to something that's crazy here, a 001, to be able to reach this pixel variance, it needs to sample a lot. But if you have set this to 256, it will stop anyway. So if you want to have even better quality, you might need to go in and say max samples, increase this one, for example. Uh, our test renders, let's let's try 256 and say 00. Um, we can say uh, the default and see here what happens. Because, yeah, you don't want to spend all day, but you want to have something that's somewhat okay. Okay, so let's take a look at here at the render settings before we put this on to rendering here. So we have 0 015 a variance as the default 256. I think that's enough for my test here. Let's take a look here at image output. So we're going to render to my location where I have the hip file saved. It's going to render to a folder that I created called render. It's going to pick up my snail TT name in the file and bolt on frame number and EXR. So that's fine. If I go to my UST render up, I'm going to render specific frame range is going to be 1 to 50. I'm going to save here and then I'm going to render to disk in the background now and catch you on the tail end when this one has rendered. Okay, so it's rendered and we can see here now kind of the surface properties we get from this map. And we can also deduct here, do we want to raise or lower the specular roughness, for example? Do we need to grade colors or adjust the bump? In my case here, the displacement is a bit uh, overcranked here still, but that's just a setting in uh, RenderMan, so that's not real something I need to do at this stage to my displacement but you can get a grasp here what you want to do next if you're a texture artist without spending too much time on to look dev for example so did you miss the pixel surface episodes I've got a link here to a playlist that you can check them out as well if you want to support my channel consider dropping a comment in one of the videos with information of upcoming episodes you want to see from measurement studio see you in the channel bye bye